All right, will you work now? Holy cow, okay. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Demon Edition 2, the Lord Hunger's Edition. Hey, she's back. Okay, Pastor. I've brought you your taboo trinity. I'd like to exchange it for a ticket to the goddess. Oh, how I pity you. You see, my dear lost lamb, our Lord still hungers. One anaconda skin, one squirrel tail, and one pressed white guara. This is what you must bring next. Are you kidding me? How pitiful. Our Lord never speaks in jest. Uh, I told you this was going to be a pain in the butt. Come on, we need to get going. <sighs> it looks like we'll need to work harder to get God's attention, Zack. Part of me just wants to say to hell with it and go have a smoke. Yeah, they, they can't hear you. Six anaconda skin, six squirrel tails. What the freak are these? Can I actually visit the church? Huh. Okay. The freak am I supposed to find these things is my question. Like, that is such a random assortment of items. And I have to do it. You know, Patty, I just remembered something. When we met Philip in the sheriff's office, he mentioned your mother. What sort of history does Melvin have with the Clarksons? What do you mean? The Clarksons know everyone in town, and everyone in town knows the Clarksons. This is Lucare. That's all there is to it. Zack, something isn't right here. I just hope the Clarksons don't have anything to do with her mother's illness. That's all I'm concerned about. Either way, the truth will reveal itself to us eventually. That is a good question. Just like it always has. There is zero markers on the map. Um... I don't know what to do. So, uh... I'll be... What? It keeps taking chicory tails. I was killing random animals. Apparently, the tails quiver whenever evil draws near. So when people go out on journeys, they always carry squirrel tails with them. The fresher the tail, the higher its price. Is that... Okay, so... Ah... Uh... Uh... Okay, chicories or squirrels, apparently. Okay. And freshly shed from the looks of it. Now let's get a move on before we run into its former owner. What do you think God wants with something like this anyway? They're randomly just... It really seemed like you knew who Galena Clarkson was. Well, I've never actually talked to her. Well, why not? They're just gonna randomly appear here? I'm so baffled by this. Hey, Zach. Remember this movie? Oh, no. 1997, directed by Luis Losa. Anaconda. The movie where the famous John Voight goes crazy with a rifle. Jennifer Lopez. Eric Stoltz. Even Owen Wilson and Ice Cube were in it. Is that wow. an all-star cast or what? 
The scene in the beginning where Danny Trejo climbs up a ladder with a pistol in one hand is a must-see. It stole my heart within the first five minutes. Okay, back to the real world. We're on an important mission right now, aren't we? From God. No, I didn't mean to hit that. I actually wanted to talk to her. You didn't even twitch when you saw Galena's body. Why would I? Dead things can't hurt us, right? Girls your age don't usually think that way. Do you have kids, Agent York? No, I don't. I'm not married either. Then you have no idea how girls my age usually think. Besides, I'm used to seeing dead bodies thanks to... Oh, didn't mean to interrupt her. I need like two more. Genuine question? Do anacondas... Are, are they native to... Who, the South? Part of me says no, but... Oh, come on, I just need one more. I, I don't even. Wait, there it is. About three years ago, I met a man who had a pair of anaconda skin shoes. He said they were a trophy from a snake he hunted and skinned all by himself. Could you kill something and then wear its skin? I couldn't. No thanks. I fail to see any difference between that and a crazed murderer who carries pieces of his victims home with him. Those are definitely two different things. Like... A... Freaking bees. Uh-oh. Bees! Screw off bees! Okay. So, I'm gonna go find squirrels again? Ripping a squirrel's tail off its corpse is an eye-opening experience, Zack. I don't care if God commanded us to do this, it's pure butchery. But, we'll just have to live with it. After all, humans are wild at heart. True. What? Zack, I never knew that following oracles was such backbreaking work. I really needed this cigarette. I think I'm on the verge of losing my mind. Now we just need to find one pressed white Gora. He was very clear that it had to be pressed. Do they sell pressed flowers in stores here? I think I'm stumped, Zack. Perhaps we better go ask our well-informed concierge for help. Okay, that was a an experience. The concierge, but the concierge. Oops. See, my first thought would, that would be would be the freaking voodoo shop. But, what? Go to the pineapple! Alright, you know what? I'm curious to see if the voodoo shop has it. Because that is my first guess. But... I know he only be, does the concierge stuff certain times. Or other parts he'll, um... Thou art a seeker. All of the characters he's split into. A special human with powers to stir and almost... Alright, we're talking about beads. I don't care what beads at the moment. Holy cow, this is a lot. Oh, I just started a side quest. The 
Ah. Uh, I want to shop. Va. Okay. Can I create anything? If you would have guessed no, you would have been right. Holy cow, I can't do anything. Okay. Thou. No, I didn't. Okay, so I'm completely wrong. I don't have a clue. So the concierge, maybe? The only thing I can think of is the concierge. And actually, sort of side quest we won't touch till one day. I wonder what that hole was for. Was he about to hum the tune? I'm so bad that I stopped it. Cause I wanna I wanna hear the, the whistle theme for the first game. I can't whistle right next to my braces. Okay, Zach. Let's go talk to our concierge. It'd be impossible for us to find a white Gora all on our own in such a vast area. Welcome back, Mr. Morgan, sir. Hello there, concierge. Do you mind if I ask you a question? How may I help you, Mr. Morgan? I'm in need of a pressed white Gora. Do you know of a store where I could find one? The Lord Hungus? Hungus? <laughs> Correct. Jolly good, sir. In that case, please ask our bellboy. His hobby is pressing flowers, so I'm sure he'll be able to assist you. But, but... Hey, Jeff, you're in a hurry, can't head over to the chef, but you were just there. I'm so confused. But you're the chef, I need the bellboy. But you were down there. But now you... Got a minute, chef? What is it, mister? I got my hands full here. Do you know where I might find a pressed white Gora? <sighs> Now, what did I tell you? I'm a professional chef. I don't flap my gums about any old thing. If you want to know about the town, you best ask our concierge. Should be back here. Sweet to the But you but you what? Dang it, David. May I ask you a question? Sure, boss. What's cracking? I need to find a pressed white Gora. You like flowers, boss? Well, not exactly, but it's the will of God. The Lord Hungers had <laughs> Excellent, David. Way to cut right to the chase. Do you know where I might find one? Sorry, boss. <laughs> we only have one white gora bush in our garden. Yep. What's the problem? Well, yesterday I picked them all and pressed them, see? That's perfect. Would you mind giving one to me? Sorry, boss. No can do. What do you mean? I used all the pressed flowers I made to decorate a very special spot, see? What spot? The back room on the first floor. The bathroom. Come on. Yes, sir. -y. <laughs> so I don't have a single pressed flower left now. Well, then I'll just go and grab one from the bathroom. 
I wouldn't do that if I were you, boss. Taking a pressed flower from a bathroom into church? Ah, Jesus ain't gonna like that. Sorry, but it looks like you're all out of luck, boss. But... But... I'm gonna do it anyway? Huh? Zach. Deep South. No! The White Gora, also known as the Whirling Butterfly. They certainly look just as beautiful as one. Never thought I'd ever have to pick a flower from a bathroom and deliver it to a church. <laughs> but he left us no choice. Did he, Zach? God himself commanded us to carry out this very act. Therefore, I'm simply doing as I'm told. My own will has nothing to do with it. We never get to engage in adventures like these while living in the city, do we, Zack? No, the cases of the city are honestly quite boring. Who wants to fish through the garbage for a missing corpse's genitals? Yeah. Or chase a stray bullet that got lodged into a moving taxi? Talk about stupid. And usually, it's all just a formality so that we can accuse a criminal who's been obviously guilty since day one. If I have to search for something, I'd much rather search for something out here. It's just so much more dramatic. This what is the countryside. And it's sensational. You know what I mean, don't you, Zach? I mean, no. Nothing's going to stop me. What? Okay, what? But she's just right there. But B... What? How's the investigation? That's what I... Come on. <sighs> the game is throwing me off so much right now. Like, it made it look like this voodoo bathroom that I would do the doo-doo in would kill me for taking that flower. But... The Lord hungers! Alright, let's get the meme. Let's face it, go ahead and start part three, cause screw us. I sincerely hope this is the last of God's divine errands. That makes two of us. Heavenly. Truly heavenly. He threw away all the spam, the red beans, and the spinach. I don't believe this. All this time, he was only after the cans? Shh. Be quiet, Agent York. He's doing holy work. Just be quiet and watch. What a fragrant press flower. Thank you for this blessing, O oh Lord. Yes, Zack. As fragrant as a urinal cake. Shh. Behold! It is finished! Our oh Lord is enraptured! Take this, my lambs, and let it serve you. Are those snakeskin drums? Just take it, Agent York. Folks say Pastor Sanders' instruments have special powers. Special powers? Yes, it is the truth, my lost lambs. Have faith. The Lord guides me to create the perfect instrument for each citizen of our town. Each instrument's effects differ by person, too. In your case, you were blessed with three drums and a special flower. This is the will of the Lord. You must accept it and have faith. <laughs> 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 
If you ever find yourself lost again, return to me at any time. Patty, I'm curious. Do you have an instrument too? Huh? Me? Of course not. Why would I ever want one of those stupid things? But... I'm fine just watching you adults play your silly little games. <sighs> Zack, the pressed flower we took from the bathroom ended up coming straight back to us. It was a lot bigger. But now what? Patrick said each person is unique. Uh, you can actually stand on the scale, I was curious. But... You know, if I talk to you again, I have another side quest that I will just add to the collection of stuff I will not do yet. So probably not the best idea. Hey, Agent York, what's next? Fear not, Patty. Our next stop is that stylish woman's house. Her name is Helena Doman, and apparently she lives in this town. What? You want to go meet her? You know her? Uh, yeah. Everyone calls her Lena. Hey, how'd you figure out her name anyway? No one told you, right? That's true. No one told me. Verbally. By pure chance, Zack and I happened to acquire this. What? We picked it up from the ground while the pastor was busy crying. We did? Patty, this is a prescription for a female hormone medication. Uh... Which means this person is undergoing hormone treatment. Understand? It's the Oracle. This is the ticket to the goddess that we were meant to find at the White Hall. I just remembered something that Melvin said to me in the holding cell. Professor R isn't exactly a normal woman, according to him. Now it all makes sense, Patty. Lena Doman is the stylish woman we've been searching for. Professor R, in the flesh. You know, Agent York, you might actually have some talent after all. Yes, I'll be honest with you, Patty. Both Zack and I are extremely talented. Thank you, I am pretty awesome myself. So I hope you can trust us and continue working as our assistant. See, I was curious where they were going to go with that, and it kind of concerned me. A thousand meters. Alright guys, next time on Dungeon Mission 2, the Lord Hungers Edition. Where am I going? Wait. Where is her house? Why are you not on the map? Um. Anyway, I will see you at Professor R's house. I'll see you then.